I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years, but no one stopped me more than the princess. You want to look the best, you want to feel the best, you want to get the best. I'm here to help this princess take control of his money in his life. Over the next four weeks, he'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. I don't know a man that's a bigger princess. <laughs> it's you, man. All right, let's go. Let's wrap it up. I'll take it. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform him from spender to saver, and I'll give him up to $5,000 to help him pay down his debt. When you die, you can't take it with you. No changes, no money. Ow, 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 he's a princess. He's a princess. Meet Princess Mario. I'm Mario, I'm 26, and I'm a hairdresser. He's still a baby, his mama's boy. Worst case, I asked my parents. And of course, they gave it to him. They'll just say, I need an oil change. So my husband will pick up the car, pay for it, put in gas in his car. My parents pay for the car insurance. They give, always. They're always, here, here, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? I've never once seen money back. Never, never, never. Mario likes to project a certain image, and he knows what he likes. Absolutely, style matters. I want people to look at me and say, look at this guy, this guy's awesome. His dress is amazing, he's got killer shoes, nice watches. It's important to me. Oh, with the old, in with the new. If he's got $10, he'll spend 20. And it doesn't stop at clothes. Mario has lots of pricey collectibles. Mom bought me my first one, and then got a little bit of a handle for a couple other ones from some friends. I call it junk. Mario spent his entire life living with his parents. And now this mama's boy has found a new mama. Mario's very charming. He's very charismatic. He knows when to say all the right things. He just wants to make me happy, or wants to make my daughter Elena happy. But after only a few months of marriage, the cracks are starting to show. Mario said that, you know, he would be responsible for paying part of the bills. He agreed to being responsible for doing part of the chores. Those conversations were null and void because he doesn't do the chores. I don't do housework. And the housework isn't the only thing they argue about. I'm paying the rent. Um, I'm paying the groceries. I'm telling you we'll get the money. Honestly, like, I'm realistically just not going to have this conversation with you right now. I'm not kidding. I'm done. Thanks. Ariana wants to sell her wedding dress because she thinks she'll get some money. I'm selling the wedding dress so that we can pay for Christmas. There's no way I'll sell my belts. That's pathetic. I feel like I'm being dragged backwards, and, and that's scary for me. So they've called me in. I brought him here to show him the error of his ways. Gelfas Oxley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Time to grow you up, buddy. Let's go. So you're a 26-year-old man. I am. You've had more than your fair share of your parents' income. That's what family's for. What the frick's wrong with you? It's just, I don't know, I don't think. I don't think. Let's go with that. With all the money that I spent on Mario with the wedding and whatever we give him, uh, it's kind of hard now to spend on my other kids. So Mario, why do you think everybody gives in to you? Because I'm the firstborn son. I ask and then they give, so why wouldn't I take it? I'm on uh, long-term disability, right? So I have like a strict income, so much a month, and that's it. Like my line of credit is like racked up. It's like to the max. The line of credit or, you know, whatever it is, I, never was mentioned to me, I never asked, so you know, we just went on with it. You do start to resent because I work full time the same way that he does and I come home and I'm tired. For me, equality is a huge thing. I got married to have a partner, not to have another child. Oof. <laughs> How come you're always a person who gets and they're always the people who give? It must be my charm. I don't find you that charming. Below the image, what's there is rotten to the core. I mean, you use the people you say you love, and you have no foundation. You're not fiscally responsible. You're not personally responsible. So really, all you are is a facade. Well, it makes me feel like a jerk, ultimately. That's pretty Well, that's the first sensible thing you've said to me all day. OK, are you prepared to do some tough stuff? I'm ready. Let's go look at the numbers, OK? All right. 
So I wanted you all here today because the numbers don't lie. And it's important that you all get on the same page with where Mario's money has been going and how much money you've been spending on him. So the first thing we're going to look at is the life pie. And according to this life pie, Mario is spending 51% of his income on needs. And one of the reasons why your needs are so high is that car. Your car payment's $437 a month. The insurance that your mom's paying is just over $260 a month. This is 63% of your income. He's spending 101% of his income on his wants. That's a good chunk of change that I could put to good use. <laughs> we are going to look next at what people have been paying on your behalf. Parents paid medical. They paid for your wedding. They paid for your vacations. There's the $260 you're paying for car insurance. You're a 26-year-old married man and your parents are paying your car insurance. I know I spoiled him. I did spoil him. I know I made a mistake. <laughs> you're actually costing Ariana money. Here's what you should be paying. The utility should be 129. Cable, internet, and landline should be 45 and change. Gas, restaurants, cash. You give him pocket money to buy lunch at work. His share of the rent should be $600. Why would you let this loser move in with you and not pony up his fair share of the money? What's wrong with you? In the end, whether he's paying or not, I have a little one and I have to keep us afloat. It kills me to know that the burden and everything is on her. Your tips have been going into your pocket, so your tips aren't included in this because I can't see them. Mm -hmm. But you have been making about fourteen forty one a month, which works out to about $19,000 a year gross. You would have to make $155,000 a year to live the way you've been living. Yeah, there's no way. You'd have to make $175,000 a year to also get your debt paid off. If you were paying your own way and using credit instead of other people's credit, you'd be going into debt to the tune of $5,800 a month, which works out to $69,000 a year. That's a lot of money. Ariana, your expectations have to go up. Okay, you cannot give him any money and you have to insist that he now pay his fair share. Okay. Over the next four weeks, you're gonna get real about your responsibilities as a husband and a partner. You're going to learn to work for what it is you want, and you're gonna figure out what's really important in life. You do what I ask over the next few weeks, you do all the challenges to my satisfaction, and I'll give you up to $5,000. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money, you don't have the right attitude, you don't get the money. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go get me your plastic because the plastic is gone. You're going on a cash diet and you're going to get your first set of challenges. Okay. Oh. Coming up. A little less shell, more egg. Oh. I hate this. Oh, 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 he's a princess. Oh, 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 he's a princess. 26-year-old Mario is a princess and he's not afraid to say so. When you have a fresh tan, Fresh pair of jeans, a fresh shirt. I love my denim. Just get out of my way. If he wants something, he has to have it. Money's no object. He's short of having a tiara. And if it had enough diamonds, he probably would wear it. And he's using his friends and family like his own personal ATM. I'm tired of being tired and uh, the resentment and the bickering. They've had enough and now it's time to cut him off. It's time we, we cut him off. Well, that's it, we're gonna cut him off. He needs to be cut off. I've got four weeks to whip this princess into shape. If he wants my $5,000, he's going to have to do a complete about face. In the plastic. Since you're not gonna have plastic anymore, you're gonna learn to live on cash. I have for you $100. That's it for the whole week. For the week? For the week. By the time you buy lunch, coffee, cigarettes, a lottery ticket, maybe a half a tank of gas, there's $100. So now we come to your first challenge, which is your get real challenge, and it has a bunch of different parts. Well, Mary, it's time for you to grow up. You're gonna take over all the household responsibilities. For the next four weeks, Ariana does nothing. Okay? And to contribute equally to the household income, you have to make another $1,800 a month net. Might you, might have have second to, job. you might have to get a second job. One of the things you won't be spending money on this month is clothes. 
because this is your new wardrobe. Black pants, black tees, black shirts, that's it, that's all you get. No, I don't know if he's gonna do that. I'm gonna take the image out of the picture so Mario can figure out exactly who Mario actually is. I don't know, with the clothing. That's the biggest problem for you? It's a very drastic change. <laughs> okay, so I think we're all square now. I'll see you next week. Okay. okay. In the Get Real Challenge, I want Mario to prioritize more than his outside appearance. So first he needs to fade to black. I hate wearing this. And the only thing he hates more? Housework. I've never really cracked an egg before. Oh. How about the next one with, with a little less shell, more egg? This is disgusting. How do you, I don't even know how to open this. Oops. I hate this. Can you do the next one? Ah! 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 Oh. I don't think I'm a bad chef. I just think with a little bit of time, I'll get to be the best, like I am in everything else. There you go. Five minutes to talk. This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Apparently, Ariana's not the only one having trouble keeping her food down. Okay. I'm getting gag reflexes, and I can't, I can't even look at it. Holy <laughs> Mario had a tough week at home, and work wasn't much fun either. And it sucks because 60 hours a week. You can do this, I know you can. And when it came to his budget, there was more bad news. I think that your budget a month is $100. For clothes in general? Yes. So basically, it's a big lifestyle change. Right. But at least he's finally paying some rent. The plan now is to get that check to Ariana, transfer it over, and uh, put my portion in the bills. Now it's time to check in to see how our princess is feeling about the process. Growing up is hard. It is. Yep, it's a bit of a struggle trying to deal with all the things that you have to deal with, the cooking, the cleaning. It's kind of tiring. Kind of lazy. Okay, so you gotta do what you gotta do to change my ways of thinking. You Including know, my changing eyes. what you're wearing. I'm tired of wearing these clothes, because <laughs> it's, it's not me. It's dragging my mood down. So you and Ariana worked on this budget together. Yes. How much money did you put in for wardrobe? Do you remember? I don't remember. 100 bucks a month? Right. But you've put in $21 for savings. You're prepared to spend five times as much on your clothes as you are on saving for the future. I gotta change it, bottom line. Your next challenge is a goal setting challenge. You need to be able to make more money. And one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna be able to show your creative flair. I'd love to get into doing photo shoots, magazine covers, uh, fashion runway. What's stopping me now is money. So you're gonna set the goal of becoming a competitive stylist and lay down the steps required in order to achieve that goal. Okay. So you know what you have to do this week? Yes. Okay, so you go off and have a great week and I'll see you next week. Okay. Okay. Coming up. Uh, maybe you can go get us some um, coffees. It's not cool. I didn't like it. Oh, 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 he's a princess. Oh, 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 he's a princess. Princess Mario was all flash and no financial foundation, but I put him on a strict cash diet of $100 a week. I just saw a sweater in the window that's already $130. It sucks. Now he's saving his tips instead of spending them, and that's not the only new skill he's picked up. I gotta pack my own lunch, make my coffee in the morning. Mario wants to take his career as a hairstylist to the next level. So for his set goals challenge, I set him up as an assistant with a major hair designer for a day. It's time to see how hard he's willing to work to make it happen. So uh, let me know, what do we got options for uh, clothing? Okay, so I brought out several looks. You never stop learning in this industry. And when you get to work with different artists, you get to see everybody's different feel on things and the way they like to work and technique-wise. Before Mario gets to show off his skills, he's got to answer to Brennan. Hey, Mario, you want to come over here for a sec? Sure. She's kind of got like some fine limp hair, so we're going to need some hair pieces. It's not the right match, actually. That's all we got, brother. 
There's, what about these two right here? Too light. Layer it, perfect. He made me do things that I would make my assistants do. Let's get her washed. You want me to wash her? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's not cool. I didn't like it. Uh, shampoo twice just to make sure it's really clean. You don't want one, just one good one? No, two is good. Two? I felt that Mario was trying to uh, cut corners and become a little bit lazy. You need anything else? Um, I'll start blow drying. Uh, maybe you can go get us some um, coffees. I couldn't believe my ears when Brennan told me to go grab coffees for everybody. Okay. Good. When Brennan released the reins and let me do my thing, I knew it was over. I don't want any colors, I'm gonna go with the sequins. I wanna make it more dramatic, a little more dark. I don't think anyone can beat me. Salon stylists want to become editorial hairstylists because they think that as soon as they're doing editorial work that they're going to be making thousands and thousands of dollars. But when you're working at a high fashion level, there's not a lot of money to be made. Let's go. We're ready. Mario thought he'd have to pay up to $8,000 for a photo shoot of his own. Brennan's advice was to get an up-and-coming makeup artist, photographer, and model and he'd be able to do the whole thing for about $250. I feel that Mario definitely passed the challenge and he understood now what it takes to become an editorial hairstylist. It was definitely, it was an experience, I loved it. So you had a busy week? I did. Did you enjoy the whole experience of working with Brennan? To follow somebody else and like kind of start back at the bottom, it's, it's crummy, right? It wasn't that it was hard, it was more of like an, um, a chip at my ego kind of thing. How's the cooking coming? Good. How about the toilet cleaning? That's lagged a little bit. Hey, nobody says that you have to do it all, all the time. Right. But you were doing nothing. Yeah. Your next challenge is an attitude adjustment challenge. And you and Ariane are gonna work on this together because this is you guys working through what your next five years are gonna be like. Right. The attitude adjustment challenge is our princess's chance to show his friends and family just how much he's changed. Ariane and Mario are going to play the game of life and figure out what's really important to them. I guess we're working within the next five years. So I'm gonna throw down my first card. Law school. So my counter card, the memorabilia stuff. You're countering law school with collectible memorabilia? Well, it's something down the road that I'll finish. So where do I benefit out of your memorabilia? You don't. Patience is a virtue, right? I want to do a photo shoot. You know, bring in more customers and just get me busier. I'm going to counter that with a retirement savings plan for the family. So they stay? I think so. Cool. New hair tools. We had fun. We were pretty much on the same uh, playing field of what we wanted. And, you know, what, I was pretty easy going into letting go of a lot of things that, you know, really weren't necessities. So in the very, very near future, I want to be debt free. That's really reasonable of you. <laughs> so we're done. Coming up, I think you still have a way to go. So I have for you today a check for... Oh, 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 he's a princess. Oh, 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 he's a princess. When I first met Princess Mario, he was a mama's boy who never had to grow up. I'm the first boy, I'm her baby boy. Over the past four weeks, I challenged him to do his share of the household chores. I look at a toilet, I feel like throwing up. <coughs> get his career on the right track and contribute financially to the household. He did some of those things, some of the time. But when it came to making more money and changing his priorities, he came up short. There's not enough days in the week to pick up extra shifts and you know, get that extra income in. I'm not altogether convinced that this boy has become a man. Big changes. Very. Man knows how to cook. Man knows how to clean. It's getting there. He's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> and I hear he's actually coming through with the number. Yes. Yeah. He's continued to, to help with the cooking. Uh, he's continued to help with the, the chores. So that's certainly, from my perspective, that even more so than the money, 
just on a day to day assists to kind of, you know, I'm not as tired, I'm not as stressed, you know, which is really nice. Mario, come in, my darling. I've learned that there's a lot of things that I, I had originally thought to be important aren't. That extra, you know, three, four hundred dollars going away to something else is like, there's a bill, there's a, half my rent. This has not been the easiest few weeks of your life. Probably the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Mara doesn't uh, show up at my door saying, hey, uh, can I use your credit card? Uh, I want to buy this, I need that. What would you say was the biggest lesson you learned this month? How hard she actually works. Yes. You're not taking her for granted anymore. Nope. I also opened my eyes to a lot of things like watching her and to actually know what she actually does aside from work. It's like a whole other job. So on a scale of one to 10, how do you think you did? I think I did a strong 10. I think you still have a way to go. I think there are still things you need to work on. I think you need to pay attention to the detail. I think you need to make your goals much more specific than they are. So I have for you today a check for $4,000. Okay, there you go. I thought I would add the whole amount, but nonetheless, I'm still grateful. Keep pursuing those goals. Absolutely. And have a great life. Thank you. You're very welcome. Give me a hug. I don't feel like I'm raising two children anymore. I feel like I have a young adult and uh, and a little child. <laughs> he learned, uh, but he's still he's still a little a little princess. I think I'm still a princess. It's just it's part of who I am. I can tell she loves to go shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.